Good evening. Welcome to the Siddha Veda webinar series. Today, the topic is on the power of five elements. It's a very, very important topic. And especially in this um, phase that we are undergoing. So let us just do a simple meditation before we start. Gently close your eyes. Watch your breath. Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Observe the body, physical body. See what is happening inside the physical body. See where you are. If you have any pain or anything, just start to observe that part of the body. As you allow yourself to relax, instead of concentrating, some parts of the body will start to pain if you have any congestion there or blockage in the energy concentrate on those parts accept accept the pain or blockage, do not think this as your enemy, pain is also your friend, so allow and accept that pain, become part of the pain. Each and every part you start to observe. Now the pain, if you shift it to another place, you start to observe that place too. Accept, acknowledge. This pain was given by consciousness to you directly so that your karma is relieved from this simple pain. The Panjabudas blocked air, fire or heat. These are blocked. Energy will not pass through this. 
So now, by concentrating on those parts, you're accepting natural healing that will be generated by the energy. The energy increases in that spot and will sweep out and your biomagnetic energy heals that part of the body. All has to do with Panjabodas, five elements in the body. Watch closely where all you get pain all over the body. Concentrate, relax. Only when you relax, you be able to watch that. Accept all the pain that you have as yours. Become one with the pain. Do not separate it. Do not see that as your enemy. Now spread the energy all over the body. The grace of the divine so have good health, long life, prosperity, wisdom and peace. May the whole world be blessed by the divine. Let's bless the whole world. Shanti, Shanti. Shanti. <laughs> Why bombing? So, I don't have any slides. You don't have to have slides. Presenting, I, uh, you know, I'm a little too much of electronics and uh, you know vision you're seeing so i want all you to imagine <laughs> if you want to close your eyes absolutely fine just listen to my talk so you can bring your imagination so when we are talking about panjabudas we are usually when I ask you a question, what are Panjabudas? So you tell me what are Panjabudas? I want to see how much you are, what you have understood from your own experience in dealing with Panjabuda. You can chat, use the chat button. So what do you think Panjabuddha is? You give an example. Just to chat 
use the chat button and say this word Panjabuda. Yes. I know the answer most of you will give. Can you chat? Use the chat button. Tell me what are the five elements. If you know. So why do we call five elements? Anybody want to tell? Yes. You can, you, you can, yeah, yeah, go ahead, please. Sir, water, fire, land, uh, sky. Okay. Yeah. That's all. So you, you told only four, right? Did you tell, uh, did I miss something? Wind, sir. Okay, wind. Okay. Sir, chat is actually disabled, sir. We are not able to chat. I see. I don't know what I did. Hello, participants, enable. Uh, oh, something happened. Okay. Everyone publicly. Everyone publicly. Okay. Something happened. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. You now you can chat only. So most of you, I was looking what, what happened, you know, nobody was chatting. Okay. So fire, air, ether, water, earth, water. So why, why it is very important? Why is it important? How is this connected? So now, most of you know, fire, air, uh, ether, earth, water. In an order, if you want to tell, you have to go by lighter element to heavier or heavier to lighter. Pridivi, Aputya, Yuvayu, Akash. You say, yeah. Vata, okay, Akash, Vata, Agni, Apu, yeah, Apa, Pridivi. It's all fine. So now, one thing is missing. So the connection, we don't know how to connect this or life. Uh, uh, yes, prana is also air. Prana is different. It's, it's uh, ether and air. Prana, tejas, vojas, all are forms. But what I'm saying is external elements, when we say earth, people think earth, like we are, we are on earth, so that is earth. When we say water, people usually are, assume water, like ocean, ocean water. See, we usually research brain is another dimension Siddhas had a different dimension of brain. And if you don't activate that brain, you will be limited by linear way of looking at things, external objects. You're looking and you're going to a normal school. You'll see Panjabuddha says five elements, states of matter. It is in fact states of matter. How do you see this? And how is this connected to everything that we are facing today? Very relevant. So, five elements means five states of matter. Don't be confused with five elements means, uh, you know, only earth, water, uh, that is you're seeing outside. Any solid, that is in the planet, outside us, inside us, is called Earth. 
earth is not a good translation prithivi is a, not just a earth so it is solid state of matter is a fundamental hard core material all are earth so see outside earth you can have an iron core all metals are earth rocks are earth all wood all these things are earth we are made up of earth our bones flesh our nadis all are earth similarly liquid yeah chali liquid gas is three elements in west western science only three elements are there we have five elements so the second element is the liquid so it's not water okay that's the confusion when translation happens either we translate from sanskrit or tamil or other ancient languages to modern we make a mistake we get the you're not getting the physical meaning just getting grammatic meaning of earth water this is the confusion that we have we couldn't build this as a science because of this so the water element means any liquid that is flowing it could be a liquid in a river it could be a ocean liquid it could be the liquid that is flowing through a caterpillar the liquid that is going inside the uh, trees this is liquid in the in the clouds all these are liquid forms inside our body we have cerebrospinal fluid we have blood synovial fluid sexual vital fluid tears all endocrine system glands that secretes all are called as andra panjabu so that is the liquid so we are made up of liquid up to air air is outside us in the form of wind tornado sand dunes breeze everything is different form of air hot air it could be cold air all types of air is there some planets are completely made up of air only different form of mod we call it modern we call it we separate that air into molecules and things like that ancient uh, see it in very bulk form so the air is inside our body without air we cannot survive air doesn't go to just lungs and come out air goes to all parts of the body to the tip of your toes the nadis have connection to both the tip of the toes so the air goes inside we breathe in. so we have air inside us we have fire before air we should have seen fire fire because fire is even denser than air so that is the next evolutionary process so the fire is a densified air we can call it like ionized air so air is outside in the i mean fire is outside us you can see sun is a huge fire many stars are huge fires inside our earth very big is liquid fire and also air fire liquid fire is lava so that is liquid form of fire and then on top you will have air type of fire like the normal fire we see so the same fire is inside our body fire we are not looking at it as in color fire can have any color 
it depends on the excitation of molecules you are seeing only the excitation of molecules in different electromagnetic spectrum but fire is inside us we see the fire the fire is the intelligence fire is the tejas fire is the one responsible agni for digestion for the sadaka pitta which is called the bhakti devotion fire is used so fire is a very important element in body similarly the air air i told you it goes everywhere it's the prana shakti prana goes the air stops prana shakti also will stop so through air prana shakti liquid ojas is produced and in fire tejas is produced so these all are different forms of things that are produced in our body similarly we have ether is the five last element so even a dead body can have other elements when dead body even if it is not breathing in air will go inside so that's how it, it you know the volume of the dead body increases it can have a normal temperature also not like the one i mean in centigrade scale but the body will by itself will have some heat in the room but what is missing is the ether ether is the life force in our body inside us it's called life force outside it's called the akash akash is not nothing akash is vibrational state outside us so all things that happen in this universe will have to do with the panjabhuta swami there is nothing else all dances all virus everything happens because of the panjabhutas actions of panjabhutas what we do to the panjabhutas and what panjabhutas reflect back to us right. so that is the reason in the ancient tradition we worship panjabhuta either from any form yet we don't you know if even if you go to a vegetable garden we remove remove our shoes walk our you know barefooted and then you do this and then only we touch the soil and if you go in a water you know you first take this water and plus and we use that so like that connecting with panjabudas because panjabuda ether is with the closest to god consciousness the next level is panjabuda only so we all people worship the ganesha and all ganesha is a concept you know people i know you are some people have you know you have been worshiping idols for a long time it's nothing wrong but if you know the physical meaning you can even worship more physical meaning of ganesha is these five elements but in the name of same name we are destroying the planet by putting colorful ganesha in, into the water and all these things so really worshiping what is real worshiping of ganesha is respecting the five elements directly inside and outside how do you take care of the five elements inside us how do you take care of the five elements outside us are directly connected you can throw a little bit of plastic created 
outside. This plastic panchabuda. Yes, plastic is also panchabuda. But whenever human beings process the way how we do things, will create a karma in that object. The, the more we destroy this planet, the more the car, carbon footprint, there will be a karma connected to that Panjabuddha and that Panjabuddha will affect us one way or the other. For example, I will give you these are some cases you cannot continuously accept this. You don't have to accept. I have seen many case studies talking about. So, people who have, they have restaurants and you start to sell junk food, put some that this mix old dye, that this, and you start to sell food, the name of the restaurants. You label them that you all have marketing strategy. But this is how is this Panjabuddha going to affect you? So what you have done is in the solid, solid state, you can create the nature of chemicals that you're using will affect the food in solid state. If you're using an oil, liquid state will be affected. If you're using a fire, roasting and barbecuing all this kind of very uh, tamasic way it will affect the fire and then you are giving it to people now you create your karma inside the more you create yourself karma is created inside you outside you think the outside is nothing but inside Everything is reflected. It's a mirror. Whatever you do here, outside, inside, will change. We also have Panjabuddha. That Panjabuddha will start. And this Panjabuddha, wherever you created a blockage, you are responsible, a blockage will happen in the liquid inside you. In the fire state inside you, in the air state inside you, the solid state, whatever responsible that will happen accordingly and then this can go to your progeny, the future generation, the kids, grandkids. So responsible technology is very important, not just making Money in any form. Money is okay. Not through crude ways. Destroying the Panjabuddhas. Whenever you destroy Panjabuddha, there will be always a karma. So, can we do without destroying Panjabuddha? Definitely we can. It's always a very sattvic, slower process. Anything you want to do in haste, you want to money, make money quickly, you want to go run fast, you want to become big in a very short time. All are we call Kama Krodha Loba Moga Mother Macharya. The Kama. Kama is the first the desire. Greed is not an ordinary desire, is okay. Greed is anything you wanted to do very fast. You wanted to do multitasking to that this every you know so that you can earn money in different ways. Everybody is doing, but we are not looking at the impact of even multitasking. Everything has an effect on us. So the Panjabuddha 
is registering everything. The solid inside our body is responsible for registering every action that we are doing. They directly affect us. You cannot escape from the Panjabuddha because it is happening inside you. It's a reflection. Everything that you do, oh, I just, you know, put some plastic there. I did not throw the right place. I just threw it. That's only one piece of paper. That one piece will have a lot of effect. That it's going to observe in the earth. And that will come back to you. You are killing microorganisms. Same vegetables will come to you in different form. You are giving your vegetables plastic because the earthworms will eat this and their, their excretory material becomes bacteria and the bacteria will suck this. So they become genetically engineered naturally. And these microorganisms enter into the vegetables. And same karma reflected. You get back this. So you, you cannot escape. There is no escape mechanism. Truth is truth. It's plain. So, so we all are in karma. There is nothing like, oh, you are completely out of karma. In the moment we are talking in through the computer, it's also a big karma. There is no doubt. But how much? Of karma we can reduce reducing the carbon footprint that is where we will be safe so the moment we start to meditate appreciate accept the panjabudas as really gods if you really make them understand that this is god itself it is a form Consciousness itself is directly being the five elements, right? Then the whole thing changes. People, in tsunami happened, there are a lot of people who meditated. And all these people, they traveled 10 to 15 families during that tsunami to somewhere else. And when they come back, they didn't know why they did that. Somebody called, there was a random call, they went and came back. What they realized, why did that escapism happen? How did these people escape? Because they meditated. They did Panjabodha meditation. And when you're worshipping, it's not just worshipping means just meditate. They are lying with nature. You can just meditate. There are people who meditate. And then actions are bad. Action itself should be meditating. Action is more important than your thought. So you should not have a conflict between actions and thought. So you are escaping from that because you were in alignment. So who made you escape? Think about it. Is that not consciousness? So death is not random. Disease is also not random. His random theory is, is very wrong. Random numbers, random number generators, statistical randomness. All these are atheistic view of looking at things. It's completely wrong. It's only a perspective. I cannot say it's wrong. It's your perspective. It's an atheistic perspective to take away people from God consciousness. So if you look at, there is no randomness. Everything 
It is happening through the Panjabhuda. Is consciousness directly controlling it? It knows. It knows everything. Each and every atom. It knows. It is the one who protects everyone. Everything in this universe is controlled. Each and every atom, every particle is moved by consciousness. Every nucleus in a cell, it could be a bacteria, it could be a virus, is controlled by consciousness from inside that cell. And the cause and effect is happening through that consciousness. So you instead of fearing do the right thing so this is the chance it's the right chance for all of us to be aligned with the panjabudas do not waste water even a drop of water is blood energy are we putting up the lights putting all the electronics off it's all fire energy. Plug in. Simply you plug in. You keep the cell phone plugging in for hours. It's all extra energy. Simply you will plug in a wire and leave it. All this will add to the karma. Wi-Fi will be on in the night. You don't need Wi-Fi. You suck energy. Simply you will put, put some light somewhere and you don't care. TV will be on. You don't care. It will be 24 hours, 24 7. Because the energy becomes very cheaper. You think in terms of money, big problem. Not respecting the Panjabudas. How much of natural resources we are destroying through this process. So when we carefully look at it, we are already, we may be thinking, we are meditating, we are good people, nothing will happen because I am meditating, nothing. Meditation has nothing to do. If you don't transform through meditation, it's of no use for meditating. Meditation should transform your actions. So therefore, any wastage, how much food we waste, think about it. One day, the amount of food that is produced in the US restaurant alone, the amount of food they waste every day can fill the entire world, it seems. Very statistical. So every day, just throwing the order, big, big things, big pasta, pizza and then they four and then rest of the things they just throw restaurants now some banks and all are coming food bank but these are again the food becomes by already food is poison that's a different story but at least anyways resources are wasted how much water is required for growing those even if it's genetically engineered Water, water is used, transportation is used, everything is used. So, all this karma, look at how much we do karma, welcome that. That's what we are facing. So, nature, how it puts us frozen, you cannot do anything. It's all suffering, we are suffering. The suffering is only in the mind. It's not the truth. But the suffering has to happen because of your own karma. The fear will come in some way. Why should you fear? You did the karma. So fear comes, it reflects inside you and you will have to suffer. The suffering is not truth. One who is happy will be happy any time. Doesn't matter whatever situation it is. 
but you have to undergo the suffering you have a cold you cannot go to the doctor you cannot move you will not have vegetables it's not easy you have to take care of kids everything will happen simultaneously and fear will build and this has to happen that's how you are grounded that's how nature will take care if you is giving a chance can you think you sit down you meditate think transform time for transformation not to watch every time 24 hours watch uh, this thing will happen that thing i'm going to update statistics you're uh, updating you know statistics this is how many people kill here how many people died here and looking at all these things all this is all waste of time to look inside you this is the time to look inside who is living who is doing everything what is the source of all things that are happening around us nothing is separate you are in duality the moment i tell you this you will all listen and then when you go out forget again you go to the same fear that's your karma but you are able to capture this there is no need of fear fear is not required fear keeps you away from god consciousness so panchapudas you can drink a cup of water and you can die you don't need panchapuda destruction mean not a tsunami or um, some earthquake will damage you you are thinking that way a cup of water is liquid your food is a solid the heat in the food is a fire the air you breathe in every day is a prana ether you touch the moment you think negative negative energy will come inside you that's enough to create death inside you death is not outside death is just close to us inside in the same way is living so if you really understand this concept there is no fear because who is inside you the panjabuda that is ruling and is governed by the space between the panjabuda panjabuda are energy particles rotating there the shakti the shiva the absolute consciousness that is surrounding us is continuously guiding and protecting us and where do we have to who do we have to worry about information from outside duality that's not required so come to this this is the time to see yourself as the panjabudas a reflection of the panjabuda that's how we are able to talk see hear smell touch all these things the reflection of panjabuda is the god itself is nothing other than god inside us outside everything is floating see at the same time everything everything is god so there is nothing you control there is no bigger no cheaters everything will come and say no satans nothing everything will come under this big king of kings consciousness so whether you want to believe in that or you want to go under this satans it's up to you so now i am opening for a few questions
Thank you. Any questions? Your question. Yeah. happening Is there any question or yes yes or no any answers any dialogues Sure, you can listen to this. Yes. Any other? Yeah, we are recording, you know, we are so many recordings. We don't have time you know, enough to upload everything. It's becoming overwhelming, but we will slowly we are uploading everything. Yes. Okay. Any other questions in general about Pandibodas? You see this as a conflict. You have a conflict about this. You can have a dialogue. I'm open for dialogues. You may not view this way. You may view this differently. Your perspective could be different. I'm open to that. You don't have to listen to me. How can I heal myself with this? Well, respect Buddhas. Understand inside and outside. Whatever you do inside, whatever you eat, you should take care of yourself. That is the Buddhas. Outside, whatever you do, give it to somebody, you also need to be taken care of. You cannot give poison to somebody and you can eat good food. It's an example of saying jelly. So same thing, you cannot destroy the planet at the cost of the destroying the planet, you can have a better life. So think about what all, how all we destroy and reduce the destruction. That will help. That is the solution, karma. The moment you understand and realize, consciousness will automatically shift. You do the right thing. How to reduce air element in human body? Why do you want to reduce air element? It's very natural to you. You cannot reduce air element. You have to balance it. What it means is not the number of energy particles you're reducing, but with whatever energy particles, the number of energy particles you have, you will have to balance that dosha associated with that. Suppose you have a lot of air, you will have like joint pains, back pain and all, or very normal. So accordingly, you have to increase, you know, very greasy food and other things you have to include in our life. So you have to use grounding. So this is understanding of Panjabuddha is very important. How Panjabuddha operates in our body is very important. Understand having an understanding about Panja Buddha is very very important. So if you want to join uh, weekend, we have a course on. I talk about kids, health, and the connection to Panja Buddhas. How kids health? You can. I mean, if you're not in our groups, we have a lot of WhatsApp group. We circulate in other relevant WhatsApp group also. But if not, you can uh, 
you can connect to the Siddhaveda WhatsApp group. We can add, I think we, we have two groups that are filled, we may add in some other group, three or four. So, there you can, we have a program that will talk about, it's a free program. It's designed for you to understand your own family kid, etc. So that accordingly, you can take care of what to be eaten, how to reduce air, how to increase the, uh, the uh, fire, what need to be done right now in a situation like this, all this will be discussed. So if you want, you can, you can enroll in that. So, yeah. Any other question? So, what is the suggestion to do Buddha Suti? Being a very, what are Buddha Suti? Uh, Buddha Suti can be done in different ways. In a simple physical way, you can, you see your, your finger, this nodi well, this one, keep your hand and then pull down and all the, all your back, back, you know, all your feet here. So this is physical level of doing Buddha Suti. The foot also you do this. Okay. In this point here and then pull it downward, not this way, downward. That's a Buddha Suti. Is it clear? Is there a Nadi clearance for Panja Buddhas to revolve around your body? So that's a physical level, Buddha Suti. Real Buddha Suti is you can do fire. You have to do, for example, um, the ether. For ether, energy grounding. Ether and air, vata. Buddha Suti will be your grounding. Walk barefoot. So walking barefoot will remove all the ethereal karmas. At least for your touch. When you're going out, speaking to somebody coming back. More than the virus itself, your energy if you go to a shop, everybody is now thinking they are scared. So you are moving in that energy field where people are already scared. So you may capture some of this energy. Energy is the most dangerous thing than the virus itself. So you don't come to your house directly, touch something, a tree or barefoot, touch the ground could be grass or something or wash your feet outside washing also conduct through water so these are techniques so likewise you can do a fire keeping a fire in your home also will help and you can do the suti you can do drishti also for kids and all you can do drishti drishti is not just for people seeing you drishti is another way of removing the energy in the aura body, astral body, you can do that. Just taking a shower in water, that's also grounding. You can do twice also. Morning is usually where you have to take bath, but right now if you are moving outside and coming, it's better to take grounding bath. And you know, so like that, anything you wanted to do, you can do Panjabhuda Suti in different ways. Corners, you can associate many things with Panjabhuda. Of, of, of fire, you can keep a little element, like a yantra kind of thing and keep the fire in the, in the south, southeast. Northeast corner, you keep water. Southwest corner, you keep solid. And northwest corner, you can keep air. And in the center, 
you just draw some line in center you keep akash it's like an yantra you just write down and yantra is just a very psychological you just have to you know associate with that energy and you're always linking these energies keep these things separate like this so you will your brain will automatically configure that so you're in the five elements you know the five elements the direction of this 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 it will be in your brain that is to you're meditating that means whenever you're thinking about a five element you're meditating on five elements so it's a very psychological thing yeah we do that on fingers and toes the bodh sati both that will remove the panchabhuta blockage if you're doing every day physical level we need to take care of external actions we need to take care of and other things. so there is no one way a person does not die due to one reason that's not going to happen that's not a reason somebody did not die just because of one thing he got a heart attack no everything is connected together for that person to die and heart attack was one of the reasons all the karmas are calculated different things are uh, the uh, planetary positions are calculated what directions calculate what he ate what habits he did everything calculated his emotions are calculated so consciousness is not a simple thing to just give you death just because you did something one thing happened this is all linear thinking so you have to come out of this linear thinking that's what causes you fear in us okay all right so i it's 10 o'clock now hope you all hope you have enjoyed this talk if you haven't you also think about it you can enjoy so thank you for your for your time I'll see you all next week then so if you, people who wanted to join our um, diploma course you're welcome people are already lot of people are interested you can graduate in one year diploma degree so it's already going on but you can be part and uh, we'll always include you because that's how our program is designed okay so thank you thank you all thank you